Hello everybody and welcome to the SJRB cast. This is Crypto Tooth here and this is going to be the first of one of the videos I promised you guys on Facebook saying I'd be uploading some, you know, a science experiment with a computer. Uh, then a couple of scrap fine videos and things I'm given and, you know, things have been thrown out. Things I get out of skips and stuff because, yeah, I do. If I see something I like, I do inspect. <laughs> You know, just for the purpose of messing around with. So, today, I have got one of these. Really old. This is a 486 computer from, yeah, I think, 1991 or 1992. Really not sure on the date. Uh, it's kind of an old sub-home branch of uh, IBM. Called Amber, excuse my finger there, and this is a 486 computer. Uh, here it is from the front. That's my old monitor that my grandma gave me a long time ago, which I have nicknamed Maggie. And here's a keyboard that was I was given with it. I think this is in 1997, and I was given this with it as well. A serial port mouse. Actually works surprisingly well for something for something one with a serial port and two with the fact that it hasn't been cleaned out for ages and the bot being a ball mouse you gotta clean it all out and clean the rollers and that. You know, that took some doing because it was you know, the bottom of it was stuck on so hard I had to get a, I had to get my screwdriver out and take the whole bottom off. So, here's the front of the computer. I did install that DVD drive myself. It was just a blank when I got it. And that did take some doing. I'm not going to go into depth. Because we're already two minutes into the video and I'm just wasting people's and my own time right now. So, let's pop the top off. Yep, I just broke that. And here it is. A 486 computer on the inside. It's an AT power supply. The DVD drive I installed, 512 megabyte hard drive, which is a replacement. I have the original one here. I'll show you. Uh, this is a 16-bit uh, ISA Ethernet card, which doesn't actually work. It's there to try and get it to work, and the thing is only like one megabit a second. If we go to the side here, you'll see the RAM. This is a 30-pin SIM memory. <laughs> Very old, very old, very, very, very old. Uh, got one megabyte, I think each individual strip is 256k. In fact, it might be four megabytes, I don't know, it doesn't actually say, I don't think, and when you start it up. So, we'll see, when you get in the operating system, I've never tried it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, actually a slot, not for another processor, but this is for the math core processor. Doesn't really speed it up much unless you're using, you know, massive Lotus One Two Three or Excel spreadsheets. I think I have a copy of Lotus One Two Three somewhere. And you guys won't be able to see it because of all the cables everywhere. Let's go anyway. That chip here is a, an Intel i four eight six SX processor clocked at. 25 megahertz, I think. Yeah, such a powerhouse. Doesn't have a floppy drive though. You know, three quarter inch floppy, three and a half inch floppy drive. Yeah, now let's power this thing up. Hold on, just plug it in. That that would that would, that would be a start. Yeah, plug it in. I'll just rest the camera here on the monitor for. No, I won't. I will just on the desk. That's the best way of doing it. Enjoy your black screen in high definition. You can plug the monitor in either. Yeah, I have. Oh well.
Here we go. Powering up. Don't know if you heard the hard drive. Yeah, I have reinstalled on this, just so you guys know. Just turn the camera the other way around. Uh, yeah, I have reinstalled Windows 95 on it. That isn't what it had. It had uh, IBM DOS 5.0 and Windows 3.1. Uh, I have made a clone of the hard drive, so in fact I don't even need a clone, it's still on here, which is the original drive. You know, old school. Uh, there's no sound card in this or anything. Well, if there is, I think, I think, did I put one in? I don't know. I'm not sure if I put one in and the drive isn't installed properly for it and I can't get it working, but here's... Windows 95 booting up, it's literally a fresh copy. Now let's see if I have a mouse in the back, it's just a case of finding it now. That's one thing with a wired mouse, if you've got it you'll never ever lose it. It is an old Microsoft two button ball mouse. There you go, and that's 95, there's nothing on here really. Apart from DOS prompt and well, nothing actually. There's WordPad and modem setup tools. That's my finger again. I really need to get a better camera. I'm recording on old iPhone 4. And the storage is nearly absolutely full. Uh, system tools, a disk defragmenter. Let's have a look at what I've actually got on here anyway. I don't even know. There's a CD in drive. Nah, just blank rewriter. See, capacity 455 megabytes. I mean, the thing is, that an old Max Tor thing or something. It's, it sounds like a strimmer. I, mean, I don't know whether you heard it when it's booting up, but you know, for me, you decide. I just imagine like some guy just like cutting the hedges outside. I was like, oh, that's my hard drive working again. Floppy. Uh, see if there's actually anything. Here we can use the just a floppy drive with. Uh, nope. Oh well, then. let's settle that. That's my finger again. <laughs> let's let's settle that myth about. You remember me? Yep. Four megabytes. It says here i four eighty six with four megabytes of RAM. I'm not going to show you my product key, but you can see that until I close it. Yeah. I think the, it has an integrated graphics. I think it, I think it's on like 128 or 256K or something. I Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, so, you know, it's actually for something that's running on the minimum requirements for 95. It's not that bad. I mean, I've, I've heard, uh, I did post on Tom's Hardware a while ago saying, you know, would it run it? And the guy said it was absolutely painfully slow. But then again, this is a fresh install. I haven't even got any sound drivers, so I'm not going to set it up properly. Uh, set up the Microsoft network. So it says it's going to ask me to install a modem or something. The Microsoft network. Yawn. Yeah. Yes, install Microsoft network. No. No, nothing Microsoft. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and again. <coughs> now it's better. Ah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to power this thing off now. There's really nothing else to show you apart from the fact that it doesn't. That for all you guys who know what I'm saying, this thing doesn't actually have uh, ACPI. So you have to, you know, because it's an AT power supply, the, the uh, power button's actually attached to the. It basically just activates and deactivates the power supply, so nothing would, you know, it's not nothing to do with the motherboards. You have to power it off like that, and then park. You've got to park the hard drive because it doesn't automatically do anything like that. Really old. So yeah, that's uh, a four eight six running. We're at the ten minute mark now. Uh, I better get recording the other videos then. I've been busy with exams and stuff, but I finally left. 
that's it. And I got two and a half months to kill before I start college. And after a while there, you know, a couple of months, you know, a few months, however long people want, you know, I might even ha be a radio DJ there. That would be really, really cool. So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys to it now with looking at this keyboard. Yellow to hell. Or grey key. I don't know whether it's supposed to be grey. Because it was just in a cupboard for God knows how long. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave you guys to it now. That's going to be the end of the video. For now, And I'm going to get recording the other videos. So thanks for watching. I hope you like, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy the others I'm going to be making as well. Because i got two and a half months to kill. Seriously. You know. It's not as much fun as you think leaving school. Because this is day one and I'm bored to hell. It's day two actually. Alright then. Thanks for watching guys. Crypto Tooth out.